Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Maggie, the substitute teacher, teaching you how I've lost 65 pounds with 35 more to go by substituting the foods that I used to love for the foods that love me back. If you like what I'm doing, please give me a thumbs up. All right, guys, so I'm continuing on my results from my last food sensitivity test. As you know, I've been going through each category. And for this video, we're going to talk about the crackers and grains that I am sensitive to. I've been tested three times, and unfortunately, <laughs> gluten has come up on every test. So as much uh, as I am a bread lover, I just simply can't enjoy them except for sparingly on vacation. But when I'm in weight loss mode, I pretty much avoid all grains. There are some crackers that I can have, and I absolutely love these. I've made lots of videos about the snacks that I have with these crackers. As you can see, I can have up to 16 per day. And I wasn't familiar with these crackers. Basically, they're gluten-free rice crackers. So I'm going to show you guys what we've got here. Blue Diamond, the almond brand, they make a, a, a type of cracker called Nut Thins. You can see the different flavors here. Um, I'll show you guys those. We also have the Crunch Master crackers, which is a huge variety. I love those. I don't really eat the flaxseed crackers, and I love the new Mary Scone crackers, the thin version only. I'll show you the difference between the two. As you can see here, the ones that are highlighted in yellow, I have a reaction to, so I can't have any type of uh, grain uh, with gluten in it. But I like to focus on what I can have. So again, these are the blue diamond crackers that I can have. You'll see here there's lots of different varieties. I stay away from the ones that have the cheese or the ranch, but you can get these at your local store or online. I like to buy in bulk and you can see all the different flavors here. I use these with some melted cheese or with some goat's cheese and a little bit of pepper flake. Uh, I use them in a variety of ways. You can also um, put them in a bag and uh, crush them up and then use them as a breading if you wanted to make some type of a fried, you know, uh, chicken or chicken tender substitute. The next brand here is the Crunch Master brand. I wasn't familiar with Crunch Master until I started on this program, but you can see here Crunch Master is another brand that's approved for me. They have the multi seed uh, version if you like these, as well as multi grain if you don't like those. They have the grain free crackers. These are very thin and have a nice crunch. I like this recipe here with a little bit of, uh, I use goat cheese and um, the honey substitute and some red pepper flake. And I just noticed you guys, they have a brownie version. I was not familiar with that. So I'll have to try them and let you know. And then the last brand, Mary's Gone. I had not heard of these, but I wanted to call out this brand as another great option. I don't like these two versions here that have all the nuts and seeds. It's a little too earthy for me, but they have the real thin, the real thin, oh, the sea salt, it's amazing. So I'll scroll down so you guys can see here. These, they are really good, smooth consistency. You can use these to dip in, you know, salsa or whatever. They have sea salt, they have rosemary. And this is another one that you could crush up and use kind of like a, a graham cracker crust substitute if you wanted to make like a cheesecake. So many different recipes, but Anyway, that's all for now. I just wanted to show you guys, I do not eat very many grains on my plan. It's mostly lean protein, uh, a few veggies that are non-starch, very little um, sugar, if any at all. And that's uh, what I do on my plan. So if you guys like what I'm doing, please consider subscribing because I eat every day. That means you're going to get a video every day and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.